Hello everybody. What I'm showing you today is something I wanted to do for a very long time and I really struggled with all sorts of things. And this is why I decided I would like to show you what I found out so far and if you know more about this subject or you found something it would be just great if you would leave it in the comments so we can make this some kind of a community effort. I decided to show uh, what I found out in this little tutorial or maybe it's going to be a bit uh, bigger one. So this is what I did. It's uh, a deux chevaux, a Citroën with uh, two horsepowers. It's a rather simple form, but uh, don't underestimate it. It has some tricky areas as well. <clears throat> so let me go to a new uh, scene, Control N, and first we must go and find this model. So I go to Google and I put in 3D and Google. And the top one is a 3D gallery from SketchUp. And here I put in uh, two CV. You know, there are some absolutely incredible models and whatever you can think of, it's probably in here somewhere. Anyway, uh, this is the one from a user called Luck OOO, a French person obviously. Unfortunately, uh, there is, I don't know how to give him credit for this one, but anyway, let's go back and you will see here in what version of SketchUp this model has been created. Now there is one thing you should know. Up to and including uh, SketchUp 7.1 all the text textures have been exported on the Collado files with a transparency of 100%, so you didn't really see anything. SketchUp 7.2 fixed this, and I would very much recommend that you install SketchUp version 8. So I have installed it. You can open it, start using SketchUp. Of course, it's read only, and here is our model. If you select this model with Control A, then you see a little bit about uh, how many items it contains. There are models, they have only one item, and there are others which have hundreds of items. So it is quite a challenge to find a model which you would like to read topology. Uh, one other thing is, if these lines are red instead of blue, then it's locked like this, and you must unlock this first. Okay, now the next point is, we export this as a 3D model, and if... Uh, <clears throat> If you have a model from a SketchUp version which is below 7.2, it will be exported properly. So we see the textures and uh, we see the model. So export as a .dae file, a Collada file, which is an open source uh, effort which allows transport capabilities between 3D applications. Okay, 
export so of course I already have it I don't want to replace it no and I close this window and go back to uh, Modo in Modo I go to import and to here is my CDAE file and I open it then press the A key to see it and go to the side view and you see it is totally or the orientation is totally wrong I select this and go to item mode and make sure I have this cross in here otherwise it will fall apart if we uh, reorient it so now I can control rotate it 90 degrees go to top view and control rotate it like this like so hit the A key go to the front view and now the orientation is right this is front this is back this is the side view this is the top view and this is the bottom view so everything looks okay there is only one slight problem if I still in, my, in item mode select this wheel for example and go to the dimension tool I see this wheel is 23 meters in uh, each dimension so that's a bit big so we have to change this as well so I drop this and go to item mode again select this here so we have selected all then press the R key and click in here and downsize it to about 2.5 percent A key again and now if I select this wheel again and get the dimension tool it is about 60 centimeters which sounds not so bad okay so far so good the next thing is uh, I go to front view and sorry front view in item mode select everything so everything is also selectable in uh, polygon mode later on go to polygon mode and select this half of the model and delete it now we get to the next problem if we look at this model now if I select this polygon and the back of it you see we have two polygons so the Collada exporter makes all polygons double and this is not good if we are in modo because we get problems selecting things so we must first fix this if you have modo 601 or 701 just run mesh cleanup and you will be fine if you don't have one of these versions you must first go to vertex merge you know if I do polygon reduce unify force unify it says nothing eliminated but if I go to vertex okay vertex merge automatic first and then go to polygon reduce unify ok and then wait a bit and I can tell you on really complex models you can wait quite a long time so it has done the unify and now we are getting better and better now I would like to show you the workflow I use when I retopology such a model. In item mode I go and select things which belong together like for example um, 
the wings here and uh, the wheel. So control X. Then I go to my empty mesh, control V, put it in here. I don't need to see uh, the original model. And I can now flip these polygons. Shift up arrow and flip and go back in here. Select them again and flip them back. And now what you see is we have extremely ugly shading errors. If I, for example, go to the Render tab and look at this a bit closer, then you see this looks horrible. And this has caused most of my problems, really, because also when you go to the retopology, you can hardly see anything. And uh, this is really what caused most of my frustration <laughs> and also used up most of my time till I found out what was the cause. And I would like to show it to you. If you look here at the Lists tab, you see we have the map uh, things here. And you see all the maps are empty, which is in fact not true. Because when we go down and I open other maps, I see I have a vertex normal map in here. And this one is causing all these shading problems. If I clear or delete it, boom, everything is OK. So after having fixed this, I would like to continue. And first, I rename this mesh to wheels. Then I add two new meshes uh, with the N key, one, two, call the first one uh, work, and the second one I will call topo. What I can do now is I can take, go to the wheels in polygon mode, select for example the wheel, control X this one, put it in the work, control V, we don't need to see the wheels. Then I can go to the topology, topology here again, and I can start retopologing this wheel. So this is it for part one. In part two, I will show you some of my retopology tips and tricks. So thanks very much for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. I hope to see you in part two. Bye bye.